This is going to be a quick review on the Evastart Max Jump Starter Power Pack. This is the 600 uh, peak amps uh, little pocket or little small jump starter kit. Um, as you can see, the box is fairly small. This is the box it comes in. Um, it has all your little details on the side, how many times it can be jumped, recharging. Um, it has a flashlight built on it. It says it's up to 15 times it can jump start, but it, that's probably smaller stuff. Um, it's rated up to a six cylinder on the box. I have a 2008 Chrysler Town and Country with the 4.0 six cylinder in it. Um, that's what I used it on. Now, uh, this jump starter has the lithium ion protection, it has a lithium ion battery in it. Uh, it has a reverse polarity protection. You know, it has all the short circuit protection. It has a plenty of protection on it. Plus, it has the auto reset on it. Um, it does have the alarm for when it goes uh, reverse polarity on it. Um, and uh, as you can see on the box, it shows a picture of the size difference between a regular jump starter and this small one. Um, it also comes between a 400 and a 600 amp. This one's a 600 amp model. And it uh, says it does up to six cylinder vehicles. Now, this is a uh, lithium polymer, 26 point whatever watt hours. Now, it says it has a 1000 cycle life. Um, I don't know yet, but... I mean, for what it is, it's pretty good. Um, it's got a 600 amp peak power and 300 start. So um, it comes with a little um, black bag. Uh, this is the unit right here. Like I said, uh, it has a power button on top. Uh, if you can see it, it's about maybe uh, three quarters of an inch wide, about maybe five and a half, five inches long. Um, those are all your inputs on the right hand side is going to be uh, oops on your right hand side is going to be your uh, USB charge part uh, charge cord port and then you have your USB for well you know charging cell phone or whatever in the middle or uh, mostly using for charging somebody's cell phone and then what I'm fumbling with is the rubber grommet that's covering up the import input for the jumper cables once you pull that out as you can see, you can't really mix it up. There's a round one and then like a semi-square input. It's a two-prong input. So you can't really mess that up. Um, that's the power button. Shows two lights out of four. So it's halfway charged right now. Now, there is a flashlight on this thing. So if you want to use a flashlight, you have the power on. Then you need to hold the power button down for a couple seconds. And the flashlight comes on. It's pretty bright. And uh, if you want, there's three modes on it, which is the regular flashlight. Hold it, hit it again. It does an SOS flash and on repeat. If you hit it again, it goes into just flash mode. And if you want to turn it off, just hold the button down again for a couple seconds. It'll turn off. Now, the unit will turn off by itself after like a 30 second delay. Um, it comes with the, this is your uh, input jack that goes into the unit. As you can tell, it has instructions on it. Plus, if there's the prongs right there, one's kind of a square, one's kind of a semicircle one. On the side that you're going to see facing up, it's going to have LED indicator lights or little lights on it. One is the reverse polarity alarm light that's on top. It's going to flash and show you when, and you're probably going to make a sound. And then you have the one that's going to show you when it's ready to jump. It'll flash and then it'll go solid once you connect all the, ch the clamps. This is a positive one. These are pretty solid clamps and pretty solid cables. Now, the cable is pretty short. It's only about a foot, foot and a half long, so you have to be pretty close to the battery. Uh, this is the whole package that I used. Now, I tried to jump start my uh, 2008 Chrysler Town & Country, which the battery was totally dead. I mean, there was nothing. It sat for four or five months, no power at all. Uh, now, it did take about three cranks to get it at least turned over. And then I recharged the unit again for about maybe... Uh, an hour went back out took two attempts cranked up and ran for a little while now the battery's dead so it wasn't going to last very long off the charging unit but now that i know that it will take the jump and it will start the vehicle it's actually a pretty good unit to have around in the house or if you're mobile and you can charge it as you go in your vehicle and keep it charged every once in a while now it does recommend that you do charge it every couple months it will slowly drain so, I mean, the unit's pretty good. It's lightweight, it's small, it's compact. It'll fit in a glove box. And for $45, it works.